Hello, so we are back, same Wednesday, and this time we have a Dell computer, it's a nice Dell XPS, it's an old one, but still okay, you know, let's check, if we plug the charger, power of the computer, okay, we can see the lights, yeah, you can see the blue light, but it's nothing on screen. So actually the computer is on, but it's nothing on screen. We have a blue light there. Okay, let's open and see. This one is easy. Because you have on the board, on the, on the back of the computer, you have everything here. So actually you can open and check the the things. These are Dell XPS model PP28L. Okay. It's nice, you have the processor, the chipset, the graphics. You know what I will do? I'll spin the memories. Can be the memory, yeah, but it, most likely it's a graphic issue. Well, let's see. On and still nothing on screen, yeah. Nothing okay. Let's do some magic on this one. Let's get out the battery. The heat sink. a dual core and video graphic chip on his time this computer was expensive Yeah, looks like we have an overheating issue. And that say a lot about what fault can be here. Does mean graphics. <sighs> Same like on the last time. Microscope. We have a big chip, big graphic chip. Yeah, one second. Okay. Let's start. The ship is too big for the microscope. But let's start with adding some flux, liquid flux. Yeah. The chip is sucking the flux, so you only have to put the flux here. Just to be sure it's flux under the chip. When it's full, it will not suck the flux anymore. So just be sure you'll put enough flux there. I think it's 
Yeah, looks like it's okay. Yes. It's, it is flags under my uh, my chip. 500 degrees from the top. We will be using the medium nozzle because it's a big chip. Let's go up. Yeah, the problems are here on the edges of the chip, on the size of the chip. On the middle, it's you have ground and uh, and plus connections, and there are like a lot, are like ten, ten for ground, ten for plus, something like that. So uh, it's no issue on the middle. And also on the middle you have the chip installed, so you can't put the hot air there. So this is 500 degrees. Everything is getting very hot at 500. Yeah, I'll see it's enough. You know, it's just it's just enough to the solder balls to get melt. Five hundred on the on the top of the chip. It's like a resoldering from outside. Yeah. Let's cool down the chip. Let's clean the chip first. Yeah, my my thermal pad is good for heatsink. Will be okay. I'll keep this on processor because I just want to a uh, quick test to see if we have picture. Okay. And we have picture, Dell. I'll shut the computer now. And let's check why this happened. Why? That's the question. Why that happened? Yeah? Because, you know... They will not tell you, you know, and after like one year, just blow some air inside of the heat sink to be sure nothing wrong will happen. No, they will not tell you. No, they will say, look, buy it and use it. Be happy. And after that, the computer will die and he will ask you why. I will show you why. I will show you why. Look here, that's why, that's why the graphic problems comes, yeah, look here, obviously it's no air moving here, this is no air moving here, so everything will get hot, look. you can see, that's why, that's why, That's why. Now, now, yeah, 
there will be comments like on the last video they will say no these things will die again will work like hours weeks and you are wrong you know these things yeah so now we just get rid of the cause cause overheating yeah you get rid of the cause the chip is fine and the laptop will be fine till uh, will be another overheating issue here yeah So keep in mind we are doing this for years you know years and we give three months warranty but trust me it's it's okay you know we have these things works for years they are coming like after like two years or more than one year with same problem but that's normal yeah Let's clean the thermal paste. Yeah, everything is clean. Yeah, processor and the graphic chip. Let's put back the fan. So you just have to think, this laptop was working before, yeah? With this overheating issue, probably around 80, 90 degrees, yeah? Now, he will be working around 40, 50 max. So I'm sure this computer this computer will be fine this laptop. I'm sure. Let's use thermal paste. What do I use is Arctic MX4, which is a good one. It's okay if you check the benchmarks. It's not like the liquid. You know the liquid metal. But it's okay. Thermal oh I I didn't clean the processor, one second. Let me clean the processor. Processor is cleaned. Okay. Let's put back the heat sink. And we have more, one more screw there, which I lost it. So before writing on the comments doesn't work, just do it like how I do, how how I I did it, yeah. And with this flux, yeah, no other one. Yeah, and with a hot air machine, who can go up to 500? Because most of the Chinese things they are going up to 450. Okay, looks fine. Let's put all back together. Let's clean.
Hopefully I plug the fan, I don't remember. <laughs> well, we'll see now if he's spinning. <laughs> yeah, it is spinning. I can feel the airflow. Yeah, this person also won the battery in Windows. So we can expect here a Windows issue. Oh. Hello? Okay. Ah, oh, sorry for that. Okay, I know what you are saying, you know, and I've been there, you know, on the beginning, I, I was doing jobs like was lasting like 5-10 minutes, but going over the, you know, practicing and practicing and you learn when the chip actually you'll see the, when you'll see the solder bubbles from the chip, you know, it's, it's, that there is something wrong, you know, you, you know, you failed, actually, you killed the chip. Practicing, practicing, you learn how much temperature you can keep on the chip, you know. And after that, the chip, you know, cool down, you put the heat sink, new thermal paste, everything is cool there. Nothing wrong can happen. Not soon, not very soon. On some point, yeah, this fault will come back. But usually when the overheating is coming back. Okay? Thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video. This is still loading the windows, so it can be a windows thing or maybe the hard drive. I will check, yeah? See you later. Bye.